May the name of the Lord be praised, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There is great apostasy in the commandments of God, and in this generation, the commandments of God has been really ignored and mentioned about the commandments of God in a mega church or a local church or even to a theology lecturer or even a student or even a pastor or a bishop mention about the commandments of God every one of them will give you a scorning look and they will boldly confess that they are under grace and not under the commandments of God surely this is great blindness and the entire world is in this uh, this darkness and it is the cause of God to call men and even women to repent, believe, and return to the commandments of God. Uh, the devil has used this term to deceive many Christians or many uh, uh, false converted Christians, including myself in past years, about the commandments of God that we are under grace and not under the commandments of God. We, are, we have been washed, we have been cleansed, we have been sanctified. We are under grace and we are not under the obedience of the commandments of God. So billions of souls right now as we are speaking, these souls are in hell. Billions of souls have been deceived. You can live in fornication, you can be in adultery, you can lie, provided you confess you are holy and righteous and cram some uh, verses in the Bible and some scriptures and put them in your fingertips and keep, uh, keep, uh, keep them in your heart and also keep reminding yourself, keep them and secure them in your heart. And if you do that at the end of everything, then you will make it to heaven. So uh, people have been living like this. I myself also have been living in, in, in these ways, ways of darkness, ways of the devil himself. I was in fornication. I was in all other sins that you can mention. In fact, I had verses in my soul, like Hebrews 10.10, 10, that I am under grace. I have been washed through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Even though I live a life that is very filthy, I never had power over sin. But every time, every time, I will, I will confess the promises of God because I had laid my faith upon the promises of God. And it wasn't faith of the Bible. It was faith of the devil himself. And this is how the devil has been deceiving millions and billions of souls. Jesus Christ himself was under the subjection of the commandments of God, meaning Jesus Christ himself walked in full obedience towards the commandments of God. Yet Jesus Christ himself is the one who came on earth and grace came through him. Grace came through Jesus Christ. Yeah, we are full of pride. We are full of foolishness and arrogance. We are full of ignorance upon things that Jesus Christ himself was humble and obedient to God's commandments. There is a verse that is very clear about Jesus Christ. Yet he was the man that came with grace. Jesus Christ was under the obedience of commandments of God. Uh, we may read John 117 for the law was given by Moses but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ grace came by Jesus Christ yet he was under obedience to the commandments of God what of us what of you today we see men claiming that they are under grace and have nothing to do with the commandments of God or obedience to the word of God, which is his commandments. I have learned one principle. If I need to learn anything from the Bible about the commandments of God and other doctrines as well, I need to learn from Jesus Christ. Do you know why? Did you ever know that Jesus Christ places his head 
at the bosom of God the Father, our Heavenly Father. The ears of Jesus Christ are, at, are laid at the bosom of God, meaning Jesus Christ, his ears are, are laid at the heart of God the Father. Since the head of Jesus Christ is at the bosom of God, to hear the heart of God and and also hear the word that comes out of the mouth of God. So as he may tell you, he may tell me, he may teach you, he may also teach me. Jesus Christ hears the heartbeat of God because his head is at the bosom of his father. So if there is anyone whom I need to trust about uh, teaching the doctrines of the commandments of God, then it's Jesus Christ. You too need to have this mentality. So I trust 100% and I have full confidence about the teachings of Jesus Christ, about the commandments of God. You should also. When we read the book of John 1 verse 18, no man has seen God at any time. The only begotten son, which is in the bosom of the father, he has declared him. Jesus Christ is at the bosom of his father. The head of Jesus Christ is laid very close at the bosom of his father. Jesus Christ knows the secrets of the commandments of God. And I and you also, we need to learn from Jesus Christ. Let's run, learn from Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, he was subjected, uh, he subjected himself to the commandments of God. It is clear in the book of John, John 15 verse 10. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love even as I kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. These are the words of Jesus Christ. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in love, in my love, even as I, even as I, even as Jesus Christ kept the commandments, kept, I have kept my father's commandments. Jesus Christ kept the commandments of his father, the commandments of God, what of us, and abide in his love. We may also read as well the book of John, the book of John 12, 49, verse 5, 49 and 50, John 12, 49 and 50, for I have not spoken of myself, these are the words of Jesus Christ, but the father which sent me, he, Jesus Christ is saying, he gave me a commandment. So God, just like the way God gave Moses a command, the commandments, and also the children of Israelites, and also the Gentiles, uh, who will be made uh, spir uh, spiritual Jews through Christ Jesus, he also gave Jesus Christ the commandment. He gave me a commandment. John 12, 49, 50. He gave me a commandment. What I should say and what I should speak. And Jesus Christ is still speaking, verse 50. And I know that his commandments, the commandments of God, Jesus Christ is declare, declaring, the commandments of God is life everlasting. We have this thought that uh, the commandments of God, uh, 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 it's like uh, being prisoned or uh, being brought in bondage, like the commandments of God are like, uh, it's always about condemnation, it's always about hell, but Christ is, uh, Christ is clearing, there is something that Christ is speaking uh, uh, about the commandments of God, and I know verse 50 and i know that his commandments the commandments of god is life everlasting whatsoever i speak therefore even as the father said unto me so i speak so jesus christ was not uh, living uh, like this generation 
we are under grace there is uh, we can do this we can do that we can do uh, we are not under the obedience of any commandments of God Christ was not living like this this is the life of the devil himself so if you are living this life then know that you are not living the life of Christ but you are living the life of the devil himself we can as well read the book of John John 14 31 John 14 verse 31 but that the world may know that I love the Father and as the Father gave me commandment. These are the words of Jesus Christ. John 14 verse 31. But that the world may know, the world it's me and you, that you may know, that I may know, that Jesus Christ loved the Father and as the Father God is the Father God gave me. The Father God gave Jesus Christ the commandment. So Christ was given commandment by God. Even so, I do. Christ is telling you, even so, he does the commandments of God. What of you? What of I? Arise, let us go hence. Today, if we will ask Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, were you under obedience to the commandments of your Father God? This is what Jesus Christ will answer. As the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Jesus Christ will answer this question according to John 14, 31. Is the Father gave me commandment? Even so, I, Jesus Christ, do. Which commandments are these? If we ask Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, which commandments are these? Are these? Jesus Christ would have point, would have pointed towards Matthew 17, Matthew 19, 17 to 19. Matthew 7, Matthew 19, 17, 19. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou will enter into life, keep the commandments. But if thou will enter into life, Jesus Christ is saying, keep the commandment he said unto him which this man asks ask jesus christ which commandments jesus said thou shall do not murder thou shall not commit adultery thou shall not steal thou shall not bear false witness honor thy father and mother and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. These commandments are coming out of the heart of Jesus Christ. In the heart of Jesus Christ, there is this, uh, these commandments. Exodus 20. Exodus 20 is written in the heart of Jesus Christ and it is coming forth from the mouth of Jesus Christ. When we read Exodus 20, 12 to 17, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery. These are the same, these are the, are the same commandments that when Christ was asked, which are these commandments? Christ gave them, uh, 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 he gave them. Those shall not steal, those shall not bear false witness the, against thy neighbor, those shall not covet thy neighbor's house, those shall not covet thy neighbor's, thy neighbor's wife, nor his maid man servants, nor his maid servants, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. 
These are the same commandments that are coming out of the heart of Jesus Christ. Exodus 20, 12 to 17 was written in the heart of Jesus Christ. The commandments of God are in the heart of Jesus Christ. What of us? What of I? What of you? How is Jesus Christ keeping the commandments of God? These commandments were written in his heart, beloved friends. When he was tempted by the devil, what came out of the mouth of Jesus Christ came from his heart. So we will know exactly what was in his heart by discerning what's coming out of his sinless and perfect heart and mouth. Did he use the commandments of God? Did he use the commandments of God? How did he use the commandments of God? When, you, when we read the book of Matthew, Matthew 4, 8, verse 20, again, sorry, Matthew 4, 8, Matthew 4, 8 to 10, Matthew 4, 8 to 10, did Jesus Christ use the commandments of God? And if he used the commandments of God, how did Christ use the commandments of God? Matthew 4, 8 to 10. Matthew, verse, Matthew chapter 4, verse 8 to 10. Again, the devil taketh him up into uh, an exceedingly high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him all these things I give thee if thou will fall down and worship me. The devil is tempting Jesus Christ. The devil is using the commandments of God. Thou shalt not have any other God before me. The devil knows that these commandments are still in use. He's using the same commandments to tempt Jesus Christ. Then said Jesus unto him, how did Christ use the commandments of God? Then said Jesus Christ unto him, get thee hands, Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve. Jesus Christ is using the commandments of God by quoting what was written in the book of Exodus chapter 20. We still see that Exodus chapter 20 is still <coughs> very clear in the heart of Jesus Christ. In the heart of Jesus Christ, Exodus chapter 20, the commandments of God are very present in the heart of Jesus Christ, even in the New Testament. Exodus 20, Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 to 4, Thou shall have no other God, Thou shall have no other gods before me. Thou shall not make unto thee any graven image, nor any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Another biblical clarity. These words came from the heart of Jesus Christ. He is regarding the commandments of God and also not only regarding them, but Christ is also practicing them. And in fact, Christ is not only practicing them, but Christ, in fact, he is teaching them. Minister, what do you teach? What do I teach? Christ is teaching them. In the book of Matthew 15, Matthew chapter 15 Verse 4 to 6. For God commanded, saying, Honor, honor thy father and mother, and 
he that cast father or mother let him let him die the death the death but you say whoever shall say to his father or his mother it is a gift by whosoever thou mightest be profit said by him and honor not his father or his mother he shall be free thus have you made the commandments of god none effect by your tradition jesus is rebuking men for making the commandments of god none effective he's not saying we are under grace the commandments of god ended up with moses we are free to do anything in our flesh christ is rebuking men christ is rebuking men for uh, going against the commandments of god christ is rebuking men for not teaching the commandments of god as they were taught or as they were given by god christ is not saying everything is well no it's well you can uh, you can disobey your parents and you you are still under grace you only need to have this verse you only need to obey this verse and it will be well with your soul christ is not saying this so we need to be very conscious about the words of christ and about the full word of god regarding the commandments of god and regarding all the doc all, all the doctrines of god yeah this commandment is in the heart of jesus christ exodus exodus 20 exodus 20 verse 12 the commandments of honoring our parents christ quoted uh christ quoted from exodus exodus 20 verse 12 honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the lord thy god giveth thee after the cross maybe you may ask after the cross were these commandments still in use or maybe perhaps after after the cross these commandments were done away after the cross were these commandments still in use Perhaps we may say I follow Paul because Paul uh, preached about grace to the Gentiles and I am also one of the Gentiles and I never had maybe Paul emphasizing about the commandments of God. What we need to understand is that uh, Paul also, because he had the spirit of Christ, he also emphasized and also he regarded the commandments of God. And we need to repent the thought that we have about the commandments of God. In the book of Exodus, verse Exodus, Exodus chapter 20, verse 12, was also written in the heart of Apostle Paul. And also in his mind, this commandment was very clear and was very real and was very alive. In the heart of this apostle the book of exodus speaks about uh, exodus 20 uh, verse 12 honor thy father and thy mother that the days may be long upon the land which the lord thy god giveth thee in the new testament apostle paul apostle paul because he has the same spirit of christ and also moses had the same spirit of christ so it's the same spirit we have one spirit so whatever uh, god uh, gave to moses whatever moses preached he had he has the spirit of christ it was the same uh, spirit whatever christ preached it was the same uh, spirit that was in moses whatever apostle paul preached he was preaching using the same spirit that was in christ that is christ himself so there is only one spirit and there is no contradiction we can contradict ourselves apostle paul 
through the spirit of Christ wrote in the book of first first Corinthians 7 verse 19 circumcision is nothing and uncircumcision is nothing but keeping the commandments of God circumcision is nothing and uncircumcision is nothing but keeping the commandments of God did Apostle Paul regard the commandments of God the answer is yes are you regarding the commandments of God am I regarding the commandments of God okay maybe we can say after the cross these were done away never even in heaven these commandments are written in the hearts of angels Apostle John the uh, the disciple who who placed his ears to the heart of Jesus Christ because he laid he laid at the bosom of Jesus Christ he in fact he in fact was the disciple that Christ loved most so meaning that Christ poured his heart more and more to him did he regard did he regard the commandments of God in this generation the answer is yes he did Exodus Exodus 20 was in the heart of Apostle John, the beloved one of Christ. First John, it's clear in First John 5 verse 21, little children, keep yourselves from idols. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. The commandments, Exodus 20, it's, it's still the same. Exodus 20, it's still the same. Those shall not have any other God. And uh, Apostle John has, has the same spirit that was in Moses, that was in Christ, that was in Paul. It's the same spirit. These commandments also are written in the hearts of angels, angels themselves. Because in heaven, these commandments are still in use. The book of Revelation is it's very clear. Revelation 19, verse, verse 20. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See, though do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. And... Uh, that have the testimony of Jesus Christ worship God worship God for the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy this was a revelation in heaven so uh, John saw this revelation and John the disciple of Christ was rebuked by an angel not to worship him but to worship God alone the angel is rebuking John not to worship him but to worship God. In the heart of this angel, this angel lives in heaven and there are billions and trillions of angels that are living in heaven and this angel is one of them. This angel is rebuking Apostle John not to worship him but to worship God alone so in the heart of these angels angel and also all these other angels exodus 20 is very alive in their hearts yes